What is ID Life? Well, over the last 18 years, a group of scientists and doctors have been working on the development of a one-of-a-kind nutritional supplement program that takes all the guesswork out of what you need and delivers your truly personalized pharmaceutical-grade nutrition with your name on it directly to your door. Through the integration of thousands of medical and scientific studies, answers you provide to the free assessment and more than 5,470 algorithms that process the data, ID Nutrition recommends what you need, leaves out what you don't, and blocks things known to the system that have possible adverse effects based on the answers you provide. The result is a program that is revolutionizing the health and wellness industry. Welcome to ID Life. For more information, just go to the thedougstewartshow.idlife.com. That's the thedougstewartshow.idlife.com. Do you have your own radio show? Are you an artist or a DJ? BB Mobile Apps is the solution for you. They specialize in creating mobile apps for entertainers. That's right. You can have your own mobile app where your followers can hear your shows or music, watch your videos, and view all your social networks in one place. You can even make money with banner ads and send push notifications directly to your audience to make sure they get your messages. Everyone has their phones on them, right? A mobile app will add credibility to your brand because your content will be accessible to them while they're on the go. BB Mobile Apps also makes apps for bloggers, actors, and producers. The process only takes about 20 minutes. Just go to bbmobileapps.com and click Get Started Now. That's bbmobileapps.com, and tell them the Doug Stewart Show sent you. Welcome back to the Doug Stewart Show. Woman Wednesday. Thank you for joining your boy, man. Yeah. Damn, I miss Aaliyah. You talk about fine. Hey, y'all, 404-382-0338. You can also email me at Doug at the Doug Stewart Show.com. Mickey Ficky, don't look at me. Uh, what's that in reference to? Oh, yeah, we're brought to you by footballsportsapp.com. A day after the Dodgers, your seal Puig, and the Giants, Madison Bumgarner, feud, um, or feuded on... On the field, a tongue-in-cheek gift from the Puig to Bumgarner, uh, you to last from both clubhouses, where basically your boy Yaseo Puig for the Los Angeles Dodgers had these shirts printed up in one day. <laughs> that said, hashtag don't look at me. Yeah, so if you didn't see it, the, the hashtag was in reference to what Bumgarner yelled at Puig after the seventh inning um, on Monday night's game. Uh, somehow... Bum Gardner, pitcher for the Giants, didn't like the fact that Madison or that Yusil Puig uh, was looking at him. <laughs> what? What? Yeah. I mean, it was no more than that. It wasn't a situation where uh, Puig got hit by a pitch or anything like that, or or he hit a home run earlier and, you know, uh, showboated around the bases or anything like that. Uh, there was nothing in, like that in the equation. Basically, Madison Bumgarner, who's, you know, been notorious for this type of crazy uh, type annex before in the past, just had a problem with a grown-ass man now and Yasiel Puig looking at him. And you can see from the video clip that Puig was screaming out, and he barely talks English in the first place, but you can see Puig screaming out, what you going to do? What? Like, What? What? I, I don't understand. What do you mean? Why am I looking at you? Why am I look? That's like a sixth grade type little, uh, not even sixth grade, six year old type little spat that you'd have with your little brother. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Me and Ryan had these type of things all of the time. What the f you mean? Don't look at me. And uh, so Puig, I mean, I absolutely love the approach that he took. I would have loved if he would have just punched him in the nose. Um, but I guess that's fine. We don't want want any violence or whatever, man. And uh, he made fun of it, man, and clowning, dude. Got T-shirts made up the next day. I mean, ball award to Yasiel Puig. <laughs> don't look at me. 
the hell does that mean? Don't look at me. That's that privilege cast be talking about. Don't look at me. Don't look at you. And you know, baseball got all of these damn unwritten rules, um, which are so ridiculous. We just talked about this a couple of weeks ago on how baseball is lagging behind uh, because all of these, you know, antiquated, you know, unwritten rules and, you know, baseball is done this way and play the game the right way, all of that BS. That's why a lot of brothers in baseball now, because we ain't trying to hear that. Look at you. Look at you. What? (laughs) Like, that would be my response. Like, what the F are you talking about? Look at you. Huh? Like, like the look on Bumgarner's face with was, you know, if you don't stop looking at me, then, you know, we're going to send you back to Africa or something like that. Or we're going to throw chains back on your black ass. Are you kidding me? Don't look at me. Man, F you in baseball. <laughs> and that was the most craziest thing I ever seen. I kept rewinding this or, or, or re- turning it back and going back and trying to look at the story and see did I miss anything. No. This man, a grown ass man. And we're going to move on, man. A, a grown ass man, but I think this fits. With that whole privilege conversation. A grown ass man told another grown ass man not to look at him. Like they in preschool. From 9 the wino, baseball is safer and it pays better. I mean, that's a true statement. <laughs> okay, that's a, that's a good point. That's a good point, but that had nothing to do with the point, with the little rant just now. From Loose Neck Side in the chat room on Spreaker.com, and you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show, Kobe told Smush Parker, don't look at me. I don't know anything about that, but even if that is the case, and that's the truth, I mean, that's stupid as well. So you're saying that uh, I'm trying to make this reference because Mass and Baumgartner is white and um, Yasiel Puig is black or 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 black afro cubano or like my man clay must be two sides davis says no both of them are stupid and what's your point oh good morning big apple bastard have you paid that man his money from big apple bastard in the chat room on spreaker.com at a certain point violence is not only necessary it's required Man, I'm fearful, man, that that might be the case. Uh, I'm fearful if you're talking about all of this um, civil unrest here in this country with with policemen, uh, police brutality, and and black people getting murdered. Um, I I hope that that's that doesn't play itself out, man. But something got to change. Something got to change. Did you pay uh, Texas Ties money, man? How about this, Big Apple Bastard? If you're new to the Doug Stewart Show, uh, one of the listeners to the show bet another listener paychecks. I'm not going to get into the details of the bet or anything, but uh, said party, Big Apple Bastard, uh, lost the bet and now he doesn't want to pay. I I told him to try to work something out with the other Stewie. So I'd like to get an update on that. And I saw yesterday as well, I'm glad you brought this up. Uh, Somebody said in the chat room, Doug, you shouldn't, Get involved in two grown men's, you know, financial business affairs. Uh, Normally that's the case, but this is a show. I feel kind of like I'm the arbitrator in this case. (laughs) I'm trying. I hear you, but I'm trying to come to like a peaceful resolution. Okay. And I feel somewhat responsible. Texas Ty got in his car and drove 14 hours, man. All because he knew that he was going to win Big Apple Bass's paycheck. So, in a twisted type of way, I kind of feel responsible. So, I'm going to stay on top of this story. Can I get an update, Big Apple Bastard, daily until you pay this man his money or work on some type of payment plan, uh, payment plan or whatever? Uh, because I feel somewhat responsible once again. If this was you, if you had won the bet, you would have wanted your damn money. All right? I said this yesterday. 
You know, you all high mighty in the chat room and, you know, this, that, and the other. But if you would have won your money, if Texas Ty wouldn't have come to Atlanta, like the bet stated, if he wouldn't have come to Atlanta, you would have wanted your damn money. So, it's hard, but it's fair. <laughs> Pay that man his damn money. From ducking and dodging, Bumgarner and hit Puig a couple of years ago. A couple of years ago, I knew about that, but it's a couple of years ago. And that incident, at that point in the game, had nothing to do with anything. That, 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 I guess that kind of talks about the ridiculousness of baseball. You still got uh, a, a beef with a dude from a couple of years ago? Really? Oh, no. Nah. See, we don't play them type of games in our community, man. <laughs> no. No. Uh-uh. You going to uh, mm. – Sidney Jackson, next to golf, baseball has the biggest punks on the field. These dudes are so overly sensitive about everything. These dudes are real wet-tailed. Um, from Sidney Jackson, James, you tell her to – Tall ass, she would have to make two trips. Wait a minute, who is that? Who is that? Who are you talking about that needs to make two trips because they got so much ass? From Clay must be two sides Davis. Ron G, I'm starting to believe that the teacher Bay is a wannabe Instagram model looking for hosting gigs. Yeah, I talked about that when I talked talked about teacher Bay. And oh that's who the, um the chatter was talking about before I read this one. They were talking about teacher Bay. I mean, just give teacher Bay a round of applause just cause. Thank you, studio audience. I said it the day we talked about this on the show. When I posted those pictures of that uh, sexy news lady. What was her name? Karen Hinton. 60-year-old sexy news lady. Uh, that, you know, I'm, I'm kind of like in the middle of this whole teacher bay controversy, man. I, 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 I can't be mad at her. You know, because of uh, the clothes that she wears. But it would be very, very distracting to me if I was a kid trying to learn. It would be. And, yeah, I mean, she's got several pictures of her in tight-ass clothes posted all over Instagram. Like, she's trying to be some type of party hostess or whatever. She's trying to get gigs. That's exactly what I said. That's a good point. Um, so I don't know, man. God bless Teacher Bay, But... How the hell are you going to concentrate on your lesson and you pitching tents all day? That's all I'm saying. No way I could concentrate, man, if that was my damn teacher. No way. Nah. Hey, Doug, get up and, and solve this problem on the chalkboard. I'm getting up, putting my hat over my crotch. Teacher Bay, could you call somebody else? I got a, I got a medical problem right now. No, Doug. We want you to come up to the chalkboard and, and answer the question. Okay. Boing. Boing. Oh, Doug, sit down. That's okay. Never mind. Sit down. You pitched a tent in your pants. <laughs> hey, hour number two coming up. The Doug Stewart Show. Ever wonder how you can make six figures without an Ivy League education? Have you ever wondered why you're not getting the callbacks for jobs after you've worked so hard to get that degree? Or why your career path isn't going the way you want it. Have you been confused on what major or professional field to choose? Six Figures by 30 provides a five-step career plan and gives tips on best practices for building a strategic resume, negotiating, interviewing, managing salary jumps, avoiding career killers, landing promotions, and much more. This book is designed to be your career compass that will reduce detours and propel you to six-figure success. This book has created the secret sauce your career stew needs.